G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a method of working out a whole bunch of things, ratios, rates, percentages, currency conversions. It's called the box method, so I'll show you how to do this. I think I'll just launch straight into an example. Alright, the first question. Six Australian dollars is equal to four dollars fifty US. How many US dollars would I get for twenty-five Australian dollars? So the way that we do this method is we draw up a box, hence the name the box method. Okay, and we break it up into four like this. All right, the first thing we do is we're just going to start putting in our values here. So this is six Australian dollars, and for this we're going to get four dollars fifty US. Lining this up, we're after to find out what for twenty-five Australian dollars. So I'm keeping the Australian dollars in a line here, and I want to know what I'm going to get in US dollars. Okay, I want to know what these US dollars are. This is the unknown. Now, it's fairly simple what we do now. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply these diagonals here, the ones that are filled in. So we're going to multiply those and divide by the other one. So we're going to multiply these guys. Alright, this is 25 times 450. And then we divide by this one. Okay, divided by Six, and the inner says pattern repeated a fair bit. So, when we do this, four dollars fifty times twenty-five is a hundred and twelve dollars fifty divided by six. This is eighteen seventy-five US dollars, and that's how this method works. It's fairly simple, and it works for a whole variety of things. Let me show you another one. Okay, for the next question, eighty-five percent of what number is thirty-four? Or you get 85% for a test, 34 questions correct, how many questions on the test? So when you look at this you might think, okay, 85% here is 85 out of, how much? Percents out of 100, yeah? So this is 85 out of 100, and we want to know this here, 34 out of how many? Okay, so with this, first thing we do is we draw up our box here. Alright, so what do we have here? We have 85 out of 100, and I want to know what 34 out of how many is, okay? So this is the one I'm after. So what do we do? First off, what you're going to remember is, you might remember we multiplied the diagonals here, so 34 times 100, which is 3,400, and then we divide by this one here. So once again, multiply by these, divide by this. So this divided by 85. How many questions were on the test? There were 40. So that's another example of how you might use this. We'll go through a couple more of these. Okay, for the next question. A car goes 160 kilometres in three hours. How far did it go? Therefore in 45 minutes. So I will draw up this box to work this out. And you might notice with this, just something we might have to be aware of, which is this. This particular time unit is in hours, and this particular time unit is in minutes. We're going to have to make them into the same. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So, this is 160 kilometres, and it is in three hours. Now we're going to put in our 45 minutes here, but I need to convert this across to hours. So this is not just a matter of saying it's 0.45 uh, hours because <laughs> let's face it times out of 60 so it's, this is 45 minutes out of 60 minutes which is 0 0.75 hours okay 60 minutes in an hour so 0 0.75 hours and then what we're going to do is we're just going to treat this exactly like every other one we've done we're going to multiply the diagonals and divide by this one here so we're going to get 160 we're going to times it by 0 0.75 and then we're going to divide so we've multiplied these, we're going to divide by this 3 here so 160 times 0 0.75 or 3 quarters of 160 a quarter of 160 is 40 3 quarters is 120 120 divided by 3 this is 40 kilometres pretty cool right? so in here 40 kilometers. 
All right. Okay, let's have a look at this next one. Okay, for the last question. The school has a girl-boy ratio of 5 to 4. That is to say, for every 5 girls, there's 4 boys. So first off, if there's 205 girls at this school, how many boys are there? And the second question we're going to have a look at, if there's 972 kids all together, how many boys are there? So, for both of these, we're going to draw up our box. All right, so I'll draw it up here. And this will be good because it will keep everything nice and ordered. So we have a five girls to four boys ratio. And now we have over here 205 girls. All right, so everything's nice and lined up. And what we do is we're just going to multiply these and divide by this. So 205 times 4, and then we'll divide that by 5. All right, so what do we get? 205 times 4, that's going to be 820, divided by 5, that's going to be 164. Okay, so this is 164 boys. Okay, 164. All right, what about part two here? Okay, if there are 972 kids all together, how many boys are there? So I'm going to draw up my box once again. And what I'm going to do is just a slight tweak now, and that's this. We're looking at how many boys there are. So how many boys are there? There's four boys, and this is out of what we're looking at, five to four. This adds up to nine altogether. This is for every nine kids. All right, so there's, for every four boys, there's nine kids. All right, so we know there's 972 kids altogether. And I want to know how many boys there are. Okay, so this is fairly simple because we're just going to now multiply 972, this diagonal's here, times 4, divided by 9. So if you were to do that, we're going to get 432. Okay, this is 432 boys in this particular circumstance. Anyway, that's the box method of how to do a whole bunch of things, percentages, ratios, there's a whole bunch of things you can do with this. It's a really, really good little method. So, anyway, comment, tell us what you think. Hope this video was of some help to you. See you next time. Bye.